Welcome. In this quick tip, we're going to learn how to create and edit an HT Access file. An HT Access file is a low level file that gives instructions to the server. WordPress uses it to create things like pretty permalinks. At some point when working with WordPress, you will likely have to create and edit this file. The file goes directly in the root directory of the WordPress install and should have the file permission set to 644. Let's take a quick look at how to create an HT Access file and set its file permissions and then finally edit the file itself. One of the areas that you will need an HT Access for in WordPress is to make custom permalink settings. Permalinks determine what the URLs of your site will look like. If we move from using the default ID-based permalinks to doing something like a postname based permalink, which is more common, and save those changes, we should get a message saying you should now update your HT Access file. And down below on the bottom of the page, we could see a message that says if your HT Access file were writable, WordPress would update this file for you automatically. However, because this file does not yet exist and is writable, you'll have to manually update this file. What we're going to do is create an HT Access file, make it writable, come back here, update our settings, and let WordPress do the rewriting for us. To start off, let's go into our text editor and create a new file. We'll leave this file blank for now, and we'll just go ahead and save it as dot ht access. Now anytime a file starts with a dot, it tells the system that this is not an ordinary file and that it's actually giving instructions to the computer or the server itself. When we go to click Save, it will give us a message about that and want to confirm that we do want to use a dot at the beginning of our file name. We'll go ahead and click Use. Now that we have this saved, let's jump over to the Finder and go ahead and look for this file that we just saved. I know that we saved it into this WordPress folder, but we can see that it doesn't show up here. The reason it doesn't show up is that files that begin with a dot are usually reserved and hidden from view within Finder. However, if we use software like FileZilla or FTP software and we come and look into that same folder, we could see that the HT Access file is there, we're just not able to see it within Finder. Let's go ahead and drag this file from our local server up onto our live server with Media Temple. Next, we want to make sure that the file has the correct file permissions so that WordPress can write to it. To do this, we'll select the file, right click, and check File Permissions. We can see that it's set to 755, which is actually OK. So we'll go ahead and save this, come back into WordPress, refresh our page, and click Save Changes again. We can see that it says the permalink structure has been updated and WordPress is now taking care of editing our HT Access file for us. You may find that in some situations, WordPress will automatically create an HT Access file for you but you will also often need to create this file on your own. You should now know, though, everything you need in order to create and edit an HT Access file.